Hello everyone, this is Thomas from the Litchi Slicer team and in this video I will introduce you the new Planner Cut tool um, that we added in the latest beta version of Litchi Slicer. This tool is available for the Pro and Premium subscription users and in few words it will let you just cut your model in multiple parts through a plane and of course you can use this tool multiple times on the same object to do multiple cuts. To find this tool, you go in the layout workspace and you have a new tools section and inside you will find the planner cut tool. You click on it and you will have a pop-up window which will inform you that this tool may remove some information like the islands that you may have calculated before or asking you to do some operation. This chicken, which is in background, have an hollowing and then it asks you, do you want to delete this hollowing? And then of course you have the ability to rebuild that after using the tool or if you want to apply it baking this hollowing information inside of the 3D model. On my end, I will delete that and I will start using this tool. And as you can see, I'm now in a different, let's say, uh, UI. I only have my current model which has been selected and on the right side of the UI, you have some operation that you can do. The first thing to do is to define this cutting plane. Then you can click on the small gizmo there and doing some operation like rotating, moving and so on. Then this first stage, of course, is to define your cutting plane. The second step is to select the cutouts. You click on this button and right now, Lechi Slicer is selecting everything, all the possible cutouts. And with your mouse, you can click on the cutout that you want to add or remove from your selection. I just want to keep the big one from the body. I'm fine with that. For some reason, you think that, oh, perhaps it's not the good position. You can click again on define the cutting plane button. And now you are back on this selection mode and say, oh, I will perhaps not just select the head like that, rotating slightly if you want in this direction. Okay, good. You can click again on select the cutout, but as you can see, I just have one. If you want to click on apply right now, it will be equivalent as clicking on select cutout, just have, you see one border there and clicking on, on apply. Then this second operation for selecting the cutout, you can skip it and then clicking on apply directly. And as you can see at the end of the uh, computing process, you have a very quick animation showing you that your model has been split. I have a top part and a bottom part. If you want to continue this operation, you can do it as much as you want. You can click again on this planner cut tool. Again, a warning, you skip that, and then you can continue to do another cut, let's say that way, and selecting cut out, fine for me, clicking on apply, and now it's done. I have multiple parts like that. Then feel free to use it, reuse it multiple times as much as you need. Now I will mention some extra information about this tool. Uh, let me pick this second model and I will use again the same tool, Planner Cut tool there. I click on Start and I will do a selection like that. Okay, selecting my cutout, only the body by itself. And before clicking on Apply, just notice that my base just below is slightly different from the other base. The other base, everything has been fused together about the topology. It was just a single shell uh, with everything connected. While this one, this is a separate base which has been merged and not fused, I would say, inside of the main model. When I created this small duck, I just, let's say, group in the other software, the creating software I use, uh, my models, but in Litchi Slicer, it's just loaded as a single file. And when you will click on Apply, Litchi Slicer will do the cut and then it will split your model in, of course, different parts. The top one, the bottom one, but also the base. In fact, everything will be split. That's why when you click on Apply, like that, you see that I have the top part, bottom part, and also the base. And if you want to merge everything back together, you can click on the base, select with the shift key this bottom part of the small duck and go back in tool and you have the new merge function and also it will warn you that some of course information may be removed because we are just combining multiple geometries together click on group parts 
and now I'm back to having my based merge with the bottom part of the small dog. And finally, another very important point to consider when you're, you are using this tool, if I'm going back in the planner cut tool and I will just doing a cut, which maybe not, let's say the best one, but just for the purpose of this example, uh, I'm there with uh, this model, let's say like this, okay? I'm going in the select cutout function and say, oh, I don't want to have this one. And when I click on it, everything is in red color. The red color in Litchi Slicer is always to warn you that something is wrong. Let's say you have a support which intersects with your model or your 3D model has some topological issues. Then by clicking there, you see that you can having a red color or not. Why? Because if you click on this cutout to remove it from your selection, in fact, you won't be able to cut everything that way, because this part there in the middle is connected to the top part. Then you need to select everything to be sure that your cut will be effective that way. And now you can click on apply. And as you can see, my top part is separate from the bottom. That's why this cutout was very, very important. And while we are at it, you see my model have multiple supports and the bottom part is still connected to the support. But if my top part had some support created and connected to this model, they will be attached as well to this model and not the bottom one. Then each part will keep their own support. We hope that you will enjoy this new Planner Cut tool. And of course, see you soon in another video about Litchi Slicer. Bye bye.